Coco, Captain 305, TFR. So the night vision goggle program is based off of being able to increase our flying capabilities outside of sunrise and sunset. You're going to get, like I said, good training. You're gonna get proficient. Day one, we bring them in and it's all academics. It's a, it's a full day of uh, PowerPoint and talking about the physiological factors of operating on night vision goggles, what it does to your eyes, what it does to your brain. It's been really interesting for me because I've been flying for a long time, like 37 years now, and I have hundreds of hours of, at night all unaided. A very foreign to me, so I really paid attention in class, really paid attention, and didn't want to screw it up. So I put it on carefully, double checked my stuff, triple checked, uh, didn't want to get it wrong, and I made sure I got my adjustments correct. And the first night, because I, I didn't have any reference, I had them all wrong. I thought I had them right, and then the second night I just made a small vertical adjustment, brought the goggles up a little bit, and that fixed it. So, and then I could see so much better. So the second night was way better than the first night, just in terms of peripheral vision and being able to see the instrument panel, uh, things that I, I didn't know I was missing the first night. How many crew members do you operate during the day? Three, right? How many do we operate at night? Four. We added a person because night vision goggles reduce your field of view. So as we sit here during the day, we're able to see about 200 degrees with our peripheral vision. That's now focused to 40 degrees when you're utilizing night vision goggles. So there's quadrants of the aircraft that we're unable to clear or unable to see in, 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 in certain flight profiles that we need that extra set of eyes. We use a laser target designator. It's a handheld laser. It's a red light spectrum. The night vision goggles pick that up a lot better. The uh, night operations crew member, they'll have the laser and as they pick up a target that they want the pilot to hit, they'll, uh, they'll guide them in using that laser. It really is an eye-opener, literally. You know, I hate to use that word game-changer, but it really is. It brings the night to day. We can see so much better than I have in all my years of doing this at night. It really, it really does change the, the dynamic, and therefore the tactics would be changed too, because we can see so much better. It traditionally, uh, we had a set time period that we could, we could uh, conduct fire suppression operations. Now we don't have to come back to the base after at, at cutoff, and that's, de that's determined by what the, the sunset time is throughout the year. Now we can continue those fire suppression efforts beyond cutoff with a properly qualified and current night vision goggle crew and aircraft. Cal Fire is very progressive in our training and we're just trying to meet the expectations of the taxpayers of the state and do it efficiently and most effective way possible.